Everybody, it is a hot one today. It's like 90 degrees out. So me and Reese are going to spend the day in the garage. Rather than sitting inside, um, it's going to be a little bit warm, but I need to get out. I'm tired of sitting in the house. So we are going to put the carburetor on the scooter and hopefully it starts up. It's been like 10 years since this thing ran. Um, so I, I, I'm hoping that that's all that it needs. I'm kind of iffy about the stator plate. Um, but everything else should be okay. I mean, we, we rebuilt the carburetor, got a new spark plug in there, we flushed out the gas tank, got rid of all the rust, so hopefully it starts. It, it should. I mean, it's an old scooter. You don't need a lot for it. All right, so let's see how it goes. So first thing we do is put the gas tank in, run the fuel line up through there, all right? then we need to put this on. But before we put this on, I clean this off, right? So you need to, one thing you need to do is make sure that's clean, right? Because you don't want anything on there, right? You don't want any chunks of anything because if it lifts the gasket up, then air will go in there and you'll have an air leak in your motor. Okay. So I cut out oh. new gaskets. Yeah, it's okay if it's a little greasy. Okay. I was like, oh no. All right. So the gasket goes on there first. So you're going to take the gasket, put it over those two bolts, those two screws. Mm -hmm. Okay, push it Yeah, just go a little bit at a time on each side so you don't rip the gasket. Okay. All right, and then I clean this thing off. Put this down in here. And that sits down on there. Mm -hmm. I'm put this gasket down to make sure there's no air leak between the air box and the carburetor. Mm -hmm. Right, and then we put the carburetor down there. All right, okay. that way we want to make sure that all the air and fuel mixture is only coming through the carburetor. Okay. If there's any air leaks, then it'll run too lean and it'll burn up the motor. Okay. okay? So now the gas tank. I'm gonna put it in because it's kind of a pain in the butt. Is there gas in there? There's a little bit of gas. We put the gas in there to keep it from um, rusting. Mm -hmm. So, Reese, mm -hmm. the screwdriver. I want to tighten up that hose clamp. Okay. Turn it that way. Can I say? Yep. You want to get a smaller screwdriver? That one kind of just barely fits in there. Be a bit tighter though. No, that's good. You don't want to squeeze it too tight. Okay. It's on there. And it goes like that on there. trying to get that hose inside that little space. Okay. And so tighten that up. Mm -hmm. Can't get it in there, then flip it over. Yep, and try it that way. Get you a little bit of purchase so you can turn it a little bit, then go up, pull it out. Oh, nope. Yeah, then pull it out and then flip it over if you can't reach it. It's kind of a tight space, so you got to move the wrench back and forth to get it to... Uh, Just for now, until it gets tight, take that, okay. put it over the nut, I guess it's a nut, and turn it until it gets tight. Okay. Do I turn it this way? Like this way? Or do I turn it yep. the other way? Yep. Okay. You turn it the right way. I'm not sure if this is hand tight or not. I don't know. Okay. This is a 
two-stroke motor. So a two-stroke versus a four-stroke. With a two-stroke, you have to pre-mix it. Now either you get a scooter that has a little thing and automatically mixes itself, or like me, I don't have the little pre-mix thing, so I have to mix it by myself. Every time I put... I thought oil was that. Nope. So every time I put fuel inside of here, I gotta put oil in it as well. Right now it's at four gallons, so we'll take it down to three gallons. All right. Okay. Can you put the nozzle on there? Okay. Oops. Oh, oh. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to pull it out before I bring it down. Sorry. It's okay. All right. All right. That's a gallon of gas in there. to take it off here. The strap keeps popping it back into gear. filter has the same kind of thing that holds it on, right? It's just this little clasp. Just tighten it up. Alright? It's really, it's oily. Ooh. You put oil on there because it keeps, Oh. it keeps the dust from going through it if it's oily. The oil kind of grabs it.
<laughs> Man, it's dirty. It's chrome bits have more rust than chrome and it needs a paint job bad, but man, I love this thing. It's so much fun. Speedometer's broken. I need a I need to order a new cable tomorrow. Got no clue how fast I'm going, but I think it's about the speed limit. This thing is so much fun. That thing's quick too compared to my year old. That is like so much quicker than my year old. So we do have some plans for it. Um, I'm buying turn signals. They're not required, but I just, I like having them. I don't like having to deal with doing hand signals. So I get some turn signals. Um, eventually I'm gonna tear it down and get a paint job on it. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do on the chrome. Um, I, I don't think I can save the chrome that I got. So I might just uh, scuff it up and black it out. Not exactly sure what I'm going to do yet with it. I don't know if I want to try and save the chrome or not. Some of it's the original chrome from when I, f from I mean, like the the Lake Shield chrome is, is from the scooter, so it's from '74. Um, the roll cage, I don't know when that's from, but I just I don't know if it's worth it to try and get it rechromed. I should buy some new chrome stuff. But I, I, I kind of like the idea of blackening it out. Doing a black paint job on the scooter and everywhere there's chrome, scuff it up and put some black paint on it. Funniest thing is I'm wearing all my motorcycle stuff. I got my boots on, I've got my leather cut, I've got my flannel, um, but I'm on a Vespa. And motorcycles don't wave to me. Funny how they'll wave to a Ural. That won't do over 55. But a scooter that does 80, they won't wave to. Funny thing is, I gotta get used to going on two wheels again. I've had a sidecar for so long. I'm not used to having to balance and put my feet down when I stop. I actually lean when I turn. All right, so I'm gonna stop it there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to drop off one daughter, pick up the other one, so I don't have to hear about how one got a longer ride than the other. And like always, if you enjoy the content, like, subscribe, leave comments if I do something screwed up, or just leave comments either way. <laughs>